The round votive maker consists of two parts, a slumper mold and a caster mold. Start by locating the two arrows atop the slumper mold and draw a line between them with a marker. We will make two votives. Each requires two panels. For dimensions of the panels, download our project sheet. The midpoint of the panel's sides are marked. These marks will help us align the panels on the slumper. We will collage panels for the second votive. We start with panels of Euroboros metallic arid glass. We place snowflakes created with our Snowflake 2013 design on the panels and hold them in place with small dabs of white glue. The white glue will burn off during the firing process. Once the snowflakes are in place, the panels are sprinkled with medium clear frit. Visit our website to download a project sheet with complete firing information. The casting mold is sprayed with MR97 for about 3 seconds. Notice the can is thoroughly shaken, held upright, and is about 10 to 12 inches from the mold. The slumping form is also sprayed. If the molds were new, two coats would be applied. Both sets of panels are ready to slump. Apply small drops of white glue to the glass panels. These will prevent the panels from shifting as you move them to the kiln. Line up the marks on the glass panels with the marker lines drawn on the former. This will ensure that the slump panels align perfectly in the finished piece. The same process is repeated for the snowflake panels. First, the midpoints of the tack fuse panels are marked. Note how the marker line is still visible through the MR97. Just as before, the panel is aligned on the slumper. After the glue dries, the slumper and the panels are ready to be moved to the kiln. To create the base, 80 grams of frit is weighed out and placed into the casting mold. For this base, we are using Euroboros Medium Mesh Metallic Irid on Clear Frit. The fret is leveled, first with the fingers, and then with an artist's brush. This mold is ready to fire. Now to assemble. Make four strips of masking tape. Form the panels into a tube, and use the tape to secure the panels. Repeat the process for the second set of panels. Turn the bases upside down and apply cabinet door bumpers. These will give the completed pieces a finished look. Squeeze a glob of adhesive onto a piece of scrap glass. Use a small tool to apply adhesive to the inside bottom edge of the panels. In our studio, we use Q-tips that have had the cotton ball cut off one end. For extra strength, apply a dab of adhesive to the top point where the panels meet. Repeat the process for the second votive. Make sure to allow enough time to let the adhesives thoroughly cure. These votives are the perfect canvas for your creativity.